and that was just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, a lot of people liked it and wanted to hear it again. Anyway, I play them twice anyway, so I hope the people that uh, really wanted to listen are being able to listen this week as well. Uh, this is Patrick Weathers' performance from Day Riot Songs, as recorded at the Thirsty Hippo. You're listening to Sunday School on Southern Miss Radio. Lights. Camera. Action. We here at the crew at USM know people like you. You want to make media? You want to get that perfect shot. You want to get that sound just right. And you want to pull off that visual effect that really sells the story. Well, join, join the, the crew, crew and help us make that movie happen. Learn with hands-on experience about shooting video. Editing. Audio and more. To learn more, go to facebook.com slash the crew at USM. By the way, this message was created by the crew. If you or your business is interested in sponsoring programming on WUSM, we'd love to talk with you about the benefits and opportunities. You can get exposure for your business as well as the appreciation of the WUSM audience. Our audience realizes your support provides the programming they listen to daily. In addition, our very cost-effective rates are tax-deductible. To learn more, call 601-266-4258. I'm so uh, honored to have uh, Hattiesburg native, uh, Actor, storyteller, songwriter, um, really great guy. Patrick Weathers as my guest for this go-around. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to talk about some great stuff tonight, but right now let's, uh, let's kick it off with something. This is from uh, his new record, Quantum Entanglement. Uh, this is a crazy thing for you. When you stepped into the spotlight Like you were back from outer space And you strapped on your old guitar And your hair fell in your face It wasn't London, it might have been St. Cloud It wasn't Paris, but it felt like spring As I watched the way your body moved Then I heard you sing, I don't know what I'll do But I know I've got a thing for you A crazy thing for you You're a dancing Dixie Fixie Cat Fandango across the stage as you sing your dirt road rhapsodies with tenderness and rage you're a genius you're a tigress you're a kitten out of a cage and you strike a certain match in me i thought i'd lost with age i don't know what i'll do but I know I've got a thing for you Crazy thing for you Thank you. That song's called Crazy Thing for You. It's off my uh, new C, Quantum Entanglement. And, um... This is a song that I wrote uh, one night at the uh, Pantalba building in uh, New Orleans. And I had uh, I'd been just like kind of staying up, doodling around with a song. And uh, it was a very special night because the Pantalba is like the oldest apartment house, apartment building. It's now a museum in the United States. And um, there was a band going by outside, like a, a military type band. And you could hear the deep drums and everything coming up. And the... The steamboat was going by, and you could hear the whistle on the steamboat. And uh, I don't know, sometimes you write things in a series, and I would written a, another song that was kind of set in this period. And uh, this one's kind of set then and now. And it's a sing-along if anybody wants to join in on the chorus. It's real easy. It's called Yankees Are Loose in the Vucare. So 
fire in the sky over Algiers one day. So they gathered in St. Louis and knelt to pray. One more dead is one less to save as the Yankees marched in to the Who Carey. Old Butler came down the river way with his hands in his pockets and his boots on their graves. Said one more dead is one less to save as the Yankees marched in to the Who Carey. There's Yankees are loose. Yankees running loose, Yankees are loose in the Vukare. Set fire to the field, send the women away. Yankees are loose in the Vukare. They came on boats, they came on trains. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now they're coming in cars, they're coming on planes. Yankees all over the Vuka Ray. Everybody now. There's Yankees are loose, Yankees running loose. Yankees are loose in the Vuka Ray. Set fire to the field, send the women away. Yankees are loose in the Vuka That was uh, from my CD, uh, Hound Dog Diaries, which is the one before this one. came out in uh, 2005. I always have kind of good luck with the release dates on my records because the, the first one, uh, The Queen of Tupelo, came out right after September 11th, and uh, Hound Dog Diaries right after Katrina. So uh, anyway, I put this uh, on my, my latest record is uh, uh, Quantum Entanglement, and I actually played all the instruments on it. I recorded it and engineered it myself. And then had uh, Steve Himmelfarb uh, master it for me over at Oak Street Recording. And uh, this is a song. It's one of the earliest songs I wrote. This guy will probably remember it because I used to play it here years and years ago when I was in college in a place called The Homestead. It was just right down the street. And uh, it's a minor blues, you know, old style, uh, Jimmy Rogers style. I, um, I was doing the opening act for the meters down in New Orleans at a place called Jed's which was also on Oak Street. So uh, this is kind of a modern-day football fable. It's called uh, Big Jed's Bar Room, and it's on my new CD. Wondering how I could forget you, kind of wishing you were near. I lean down over my table, I see you sitting there. You and that football player, he had his fingers in your hair. I lit up a long cigarette. And I smoked it to the butt I drank up the rest of my good Dixie And then I stomped on my paper cup I goes over to your table You wouldn't even give me a glance Then you and that flat-footed athlete You got up and started to dance well, the band was getting louder As I knocked him to the floor He came back up like a ball player would And threw me through the door I 
climb back in through the window he come at me with a knife and as i passed out he tripped over me accidentally taking his life hey ho hey 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 ho ho hey god bless my heart shame on my soul i'm headed central lock up way well jed he called the policeman and i can hear those sirens whine soon i've gotta be leaving goodbye Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. Thank you. And that's that's from the new CD, Quantum Entanglement. Um, now, these songs that are on here, uh, you, you had uh, mentioned that uh, some of these are earlier, some of them are newer. There's just sort of a uh, um, story behind some of these, or the reason why this collection kind of came together. Well, uh, when I first started doing it, I had some songs that uh, I had written a long time ago, and I never had really done anything with them. They just kind of fell by the wayside, and they started to have new life to them. And when I was a kid, when I was like, you know, you know, in my 20s, I had a, a, a four-track recorder, and I had done some tracks, uh, just overdubbing, playing everything myself. And those songs came back to me, and I, I had this idea, like, you know, what if I, you know, worked on the tracks that I had done back then now? So it's like I'm, you know, playing with, playing, uh, uh, well, that's not quite how to take it, but playing with myself. And, uh, uh, but, but you're talking about like, you know, 30 years apart. So it's kind of a quantum entanglement in a way. Well, the tracks I found, the old tracks, I couldn't find the, the, uh, the major tracks. I just found old cassettes and they weren't good enough. So I just redid the songs. And some of the songs were songs I had just recently written. And some of them were absolutely like brand new. And, um, uh, some of them were, I mean, literally, like, uh, uh, some of them I, I, I was, I just lie down on my couch and get an idea, you know, holding an orange, and I just jump up and record the thing, you know, and work it out. So even though uh, the tracks were all, like, you know, recent, some of the songs and melodies I carried around in my head for many years, and some for uh, just for, you know, many seconds. And uh, so it really created kind of a quantum entanglement. So that's why we have, uh, you know, Professor Einstein on the cover writing out the titles to the song so you get Patrick Weathers plus quantum entanglements equals you know and then there's your list of songs but this is uh let's see <laughs> this is a song that I wrote uh, yeah I guess it's my Katrina song and uh, I guess everybody's got one you know as a musician in New Orleans who was living there at that time but it's a song that uh, I carried around in my head for you know a few years before I actually laid it down and recorded it and uh, when I did record it, it was uh, Christmas Eve, and I did it just really kind of as a demo recording. Well, once I played it back, you know, all my ideas for arranging it and everything just went out the window because I thought it worked best just as a very simple folk song. And um, let's see if I can get through it this right this time. It's, uh, it's called Water. up this morning water everywhere when I went to sleep last night the world was still there everything we ever had is gone Mary's on the rooftop brother John is dead he held that little girl's hand till the water covered his head everything he ever had is gone when time deceives me and all's been won or lost, I'll still remember a place called Holy Cross. 
Woke up this morning, water everywhere. We had the world on a string, now we're hanging by hair. Everything I ever had is gone. Time deceives me, and all's been won or lost. I still remember a place called Holy Cross. Woke up this morning, water everywhere. We had the world on the string, now we're hanging by hair. Everything I ever had is gone. Everything we ever had is gone One of the great things about uh, songwriters like Patrick, uh, um, he writes very um, cinematically, and I think I sort of mentioned that to him before, the, so, the stories really look like uh, movies sort of uh, wandering down. And uh, w would you say that was sort of uh, part of your uh, well, you kind know, of your, your there's, definitely, there's definitely a visual aspect of, to it, you know, because, uh, you know, when I'm writing a song, I do, I kind of get a visual of the story that I'm putting down when it's a story song. And uh, this song, for example, was uh, particularly useful because um, I wrote it about one lady, but I used another lady's name for the title of the song because it worked better in the rhythm and uh, so I had two ladies who love the song and they both claim it so that that was beneficial and uh, this song is uh, a song that I wrote when I was actually I was living in Los Feliz in uh, California in Los Angeles and uh, I had a great old building <coughs> and downstairs it was a washeteria so I was go down there and wash my clothes and I'd throw my clothes into the uh, dryer so they were going around like this and, and they were they would go up and then they'd fall, and they'd go up and then they'd fall. So it was kind of like a, a, a three, four time watching the, the dryer go around. And this little song came into my head. And uh, the lady I was writing about was actually, uh, well, she was a burlesque dancer, but she, was a, but she had a very sophisticated name, uh, Millicent Sheridan. And it didn't really like work in, uh, in the context of the song for the rhyme. But I knew another lady, and she was a... Uh, she was a, a, a worked on a Spanish soap opera, and uh, her name was Marita uh, De Leon, and a very beautiful lady. So I took the idea that I had from watching Millicent dance, and uh, and then I transposed it over to Marita's name. So the song turned out watching Marita. And uh, when I lived in New York, there was a uh, over on a, a, I think it was about like 23rd or 24th, and. Uh, um, Six. There was a there was <laughs> there was a topless place there, and you always walked by there and you saw the sign. It was called Billy's Topless. <laughs> I just thought, man, you know, you just you don't see that, you know, where I grew up every day. But uh, you know, you might see like you know Billy's Beauty Parlor, but it's like you know Billy's Topless. So that kind of went through my head. So suddenly I had this like little movie going along of this guy who's like hopelessly in love with his dancer. And he doesn't go there because it's erotic, or he goes there because he just loves her. And uh, it's called Watching Marita, and it's on my uh, album, The Queen of Tupelo. It's a little, little Cajun wall, so if anybody feels so inclined, please grab your partner. It's rush hour Friday, and again I have stopped in to Billy's All Girl Review. I've been sitting here waiting, anticipating Marita for an hour or two. Now the lights on the stage are low, saxophones playing slow as I make my way to the front. And a man on a microphone says, put your hands together for the lovely Marita Legrunt. And I'm watching Marita, watching Marita. Watching Marita dance 
Only one in a lineup of twelve naked dancers, but the one I want to romance. How can I tell around all these drunk fellers that I love her so? But now I'm contented to sip on this Remy while Marita takes off her clothes. Now we're tossing her dollars and everyone hollers as Marita pulls off her boots. There's a guy standing next to me drinking whiskey from Tennessee saying, damn, that Marita is cute. And we're watching Marita, watching Marita, watching Marita dance. Only one in a lineup of 12 naked dancers but the one I want to romance. How can I tell around all these drunk fellers that I love her so? Now I'm contented to sip on this Remy while Marita takes off her clothes. How can I tell around all these drunk fellers that I love her so? Now I'm contented to sip on this Remy while Marita swings on that hole. Yeah, he! Since we've uh, stopped on the Queenie Tupelo record, um, like let, let's carry let's carry forward with another uh, right. uh, another great story. Well, this is a <laughs> this is a song that I wrote uh, in uh, my friend uh, Hey Bruce uh, in in Byron Greco's uh, dining room, and uh, it was kind of a sad and lonely time in my life and. Uh, uh, a buddy of mine had listened to it. He's been sad and lonely a few times in his life, and he said, "Man, you don't need to write many like that." He said that. <laughs> he said that one kind of gets it. But uh, anyway, it's a uh, uh, it's on my Queen of Tupelo record, and uh, it's like cut I think number three on the side, the only side on a CD. Side what? <laughs> and. Uh, Anyway, the song is uh, the song is called "You Got to Move On." Let's see if I can remember it. And there comes the time you've got to be strong. When everything right turns out wrong And there's nothing left for you to hang on That's the time you've got to be strong There comes the time you've got to get tough When every stretch of the road is rough And you've given it all but it isn't enough That's the time you gotta get tough When you love somebody a little too long That's the time you gotta move on That's the time you gotta move on when you love somebody and it all goes wrong That's the time you've got to move on That's the time you've got to move on She told daddy she would love you forever She said she would be your wife Now she's gone, it's best you forgive her You'll meet her again in another life When you love 
love somebody a little too long That's the time you gotta move on That's the time you gotta move on When you love somebody and it all goes wrong That's the time you gotta move on That's the time you gotta move on There comes the time when you're all alone And your heart is breaking down to the bone And every dream you had is gone That's the time you gotta move on When you love somebody 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 a little too long That's the time you gotta move on That's the time you gotta move on When you love somebody and it all goes wrong That's the time you gotta move on That's the time you gotta move on And I did. I did. Thank you. I had no choice. But uh... Patrick, thank you so much. One of the uh, one of the things I've noticed, uh, your email address and uh, several other things I've seen written about is uh, Timber Sheiks. Right. And uh, I've seen some Timber Sheiks things. Tell me a little bit about the Timber Sheiks. Well, the, uh, uh, the Timber Sheiks, that's my band. And uh, the original guys who played with me in L.A. It was Patrick Weathers and the Timber Sheiks. And uh, they played on the Queen of Tupelo record and, uh, and uh, also on the uh, Hound Dog Diaries record. And then when I, I started traveling around, I got back down south and I was playing down in Louisiana and Mississippi. And um, I picked up guys playing with me down here and they were great players. And, uh, and they also worked with me on the Hound Dog Diaries records. Uh, um, I thought about like, you know, maybe I need a new name. So, the guys in L.A. said, no, just keep it the Timber Sheiks, you know. It becomes like a legacy. You know, I was a Timber Sheik. And uh, the origin of the name is this. It's like uh, uh, after World War II uh, in North Mississippi, uh, there, was a, there was a subclass came out of the sharecropper class, and they'd been used to bartering and everything and, uh, all their lives. And uh, after World War II, they got jobs, and they, they bought uh, pulpwood trucks. And they'd go out where the lumber barons had cleared all their land, and they'd pull these stumps, and they'd sell them to paper mills. And these guys, uh, they'd buy like 49 Lincolns and, you know, drop them down and paint them purple and put glass packs in them, you know, so they'd fire at the red light. And, uh, they wore their hair kind of long with a duck tail, and some of them would, like, you know, bleach a, a, a little stripe, like right down the middle of their hair, you know. And other ones would, like, take bandanas and tie them around their head, you know, and they had long sideburns. So what they don't get is uh, when they talked to Elvis Presley, and he said, well, I wanted to be a truck driver. He was talking about a timber sheik. And um, my grandmother said the first time Elvis was on TV, she was like, you know, what's that timber sheik doing on TV? And uh, I thought, man, you know, if I ever a band and put a band together, I'm going to call it the timber sheiks. So uh, I've been a timber sheik ever since. Right on, man, absolutely. And there's a, another thing about a timber sheik. Uh, timber sheik changes his own oil, his automobile, and he also owns the ground he stands on. <laughs> there you go, fantastic. This is this is one of my one of my favorite songs of Patrick's. This has so many great visual images about it, and it's uh, it's hard for me to not think about Patrick's songs without thinking about this one. This song uh, uh, this song go, does go date back to USM and uh, the homestead and everything, and it really started out as a poem. And I was riding around with a friend of mine in a car, and we started talking about, uh, I don't know how we got on this, but we were, we were talking about, the, uh, it, it happened years before, but we were talking about the, the terrible accident down on Highway 90 in, uh, in the Mississippi Gulf Coast in which uh, Jane Mansfield, the movie star, died. And uh, well, I don't seen pictures of it on you know, some old magazine or something you know, that brought it to mind. So we came up with this uh, this kind of a poem. We were like making up poems, and he was writing a poem about her dog or something, you know. And then, uh, then all of a sudden, I came in line like, "This ain't the Appaloosa's Jamboree." 
And then uh, later, uh, when I was, in, I was in college, I was a theater major at USM and uh, took a lot of courses and other things uh, in, in uh, history and also in the Creative Writing Center. And I had a great teacher there, uh, Dr. David Berry. And he was also like kind of my, my partner playing out. He played banjo and we did some gigs together. It was a lot of fun. He's a great guy and a great writer. It is. And, um, and so when I was a senior, without telling me, he took like three poems I wrote. And one of them I actually co-wrote with a, a buddy of mine, Stanton Fountain. And I entered them in the Southern Literary Festival. And uh, I won. And uh, so, <laughs> kind of funny. And uh, one of them, uh, uh, two of them uh, uh, were ranked, and uh, one of them got first place honorable mention. I can't remember all the order. But uh, one of them was, uh, uh, this ain't the Opelousas Jamboree. And so later, uh, I sat down and reworked it, and it became a song, and it became the Opelousas Jamboree. So it's, it's kind of my, uh, it's kind of my um, Romanian folk music Creole song. I don't know. Hank Williams style, you know, I guess. Uh, but it's got a little different flavor from most of my songs. It's, it's Opelousas Jamboree. I was sitting at the bar, feeling blue, needed someone to be with. And they talked to when I heard the clicky clicky of high heel shoes and the wishy 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 of a pair of big boobs. There stood this woman in satin and pink. She said, My name is Bridget. May I buy you a drink? I said, Yes, yeah, swell lady. Marin's overdue. She said, It's all right. I think you're cute. Say, come with me and we can drink for free Where the water runs clean to the tall oak tree And we'll dance all night hand in hand And listen to the left and the Cajun band At the Opelousas Jamboree There were honeysuckle bushes and baggy briefs Bright red T-birds, sunbeam sweets At the Opelousas Jamboree Spanish dolls and lava lamps. Now everybody back down in New Orleans is out on the porch and they sit in their swings and they're trying to beat the awful heat and on a well the jamboree. Hey Lombard. At the Opelousas Jamboree There were honeysuckle bushes and baggy briefs Bright red T-birds, sunbeam sweets At the Opelousas Jamboree At the Opelousas Jamboree There were honeysuckle bushes and baggy briefs Bright red T-birds, sunbeam sweets At the Opelousas Jamboree Jamboree, 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 Jamboree. Thank you, thank you. Okay, great. Uh, thank you guys once again for uh, for coming out and everything, Ed, and thank you so much, Patrick. Uh, this is a great song, um, "Easter in the Jungle." And uh, Patrick, will you give us a little bit of a, a little bit, bit of a background? I got a little water going. On, but I won't well, uh, "Easter in the Jungle" is on my new CD, and it's a new song. And I have another song that's on the CD called "Baby," and uh, they're both they they're very different songs, but they have something in common is the fact that uh, instead of just writing about something or being inspired to write about something, you're writing to something. And uh, a friend of mine, uh, Ty Donaldson, who did the uh, cover design for my uh, three CDs, um, he uh, is also a documentary filmmaker and uh, happens to be that his father was a Marine veteran of Vietnam and a veteran of the longest siege of the war, the siege of uh, Khe Som, and his mother is Vietnamese. So he's doing a documentary on the uh, siege, and it's called The Marines of Quezon. So he had this idea. He said, why don't you write some songs for me, but kind of make them like storytelling songs, like sitting around the campfire, you know? 
and I do it kind of like, you know, from the, the enlisted man's point of view. I thought, you yeah, know, that's, that's, that's really interesting. And he asked me for four, and I actually wrote one. But um, anyway, it's called Easter in the Jungle because the siege uh, was 1968. It lasted for 70 days. And um, basically the Marines were trapped in there, and it was uh, very nasty. And uh, there was no air support. They couldn't get any air support in until Easter Sunday, 1968. And that was the uh, conclusion of it. So uh, that's the title of the song, Easter in the Jungle. This one's on uh, my new CD, Quantum Entanglement. It's Easter in the jungle, 1968. There are angels flying somewhere. Man, I hope that they ain't late. It's been raining since Good Friday On this hilltop made of mud We call the Devil's Mountain A name we've written here in blood Somewhere choirs are singing Bells ring in a square But here on Devil's Mountain all you hear a warrior's prayers It's Easter in the jungle Charlie's rising over there we got angels on our shoulders now, spelling napalm in the air. Yeah, we got angels on our shoulders now, sweet smelling napalm in the air. It's great to see um, all my old friends and family here tonight, and uh, I really, really appreciate everybody coming out and supporting me. You know, like thank you, really, really appreciate it. And uh, this is a song that I wrote a uh, long time ago when I was far away, and uh, some of you older people might remember some of the folks that are in it. You know, like the Beatles song, "Some Are Dead, Some Are Living." You know, but we go on, and. Uh, this song is for everybody here. It's called Old Friends, Old Times. I had a best friend when I was a kid. We always got in trouble for the fun things we did. Stealing Coke bottles to sell for a dime. The last time I saw him, he was still doing time. I knew this guy from the town up the road We always got off on the songs that he wrote He went to the city, he said to make it big The last time I saw him was in Time Magazine I knew this actor when I was at school he dressed like Valentino and would dance in his room Confusing his own mind with those Hollywood lies The last time I saw him, he had stars in his eyes I had a partner when I lived on Barone We played Dixieland sometimes until dawn He was the Funniest human that I ever have known But he left for the West Coast With his case and trombone Old friends, old times Life has a way of 
of dividing these ties. We're caught in a traffic, it's push, shove, and rush. But sometimes I wish it was still all of us. When I was 18, I fell in love. But somehow I lost her, guess that we were too young. She married a painter from somewhere in the north. Long after the last time that I saw her, of course. Now if all of these moments could be trapped in a glass, like trains in a tunnel, they would pass in a flash. There's so much competition in my life's on the line. So I have to turn back, babe, from time unto time. Two old friends, old times. Life has a way of dividing these ties. We're caught in a traffic, it's push of and rush. But sometimes I wish it was still all of us. Thank you again so much, Patrick. Uh, um, <laughs> talk about stories. I mean, rock on tour would be like a, a light way to uh, to uh, talk about you. I mean, you're a, you're a consummate storyteller. Really great one. Uh, there's a great story song about uh, the siege in Vicksburg, and uh, I would really love to uh, check that out. And if you could give me a little bit about that, that would be awesome. Yeah, this uh, this is another song. Like you talk, I talk about, you know, write some songs sometimes that will just come in, uh, you know, a little pattern. You know, like a statistical clumping, you know, ties in again to quantum entanglement. But uh, my uh, my great great grandfather, uh, Lightsey, was in the uh, the siege of Vicksburg uh, with the Jasper Avengers from Jasper County, and uh, and he wrote about that. But uh, I had this, uh, the same night that uh, I came up with the idea and was, was working on that song, uh, Yankees Are Loose on the Vuke Array, which is kind of then and now. This is just kind of then. But it's a story, you know, of a man, you know, who uh, takes the wrong path, maybe. And uh, it's a timeless story. But it's called Vicksburg, and it's a, it's a waltz, too, if anybody feels like dancing. I knocked on the door of an old Spanish whore. She took some absinthe from her cabinet. I paid her in gold in a story I told of my love so far away. I felt her warm mouth as I lay on her couch and drank her poison concoction as the night disappeared I told her my fears for my love so far away Molly's in Vicksburg and I ain't around It's the 4th of July and they've burned down a town I should go to her and take up the fight But I'm watching the ferry dance in the light
She tosses her hair as she comes up for air. And the wind sets the curtains sailing. It's no comfort to know that a good man would go to his love so far away. Somebody cheers as the smoke starts to clear and the bells at St. Louis are ringing. Someone pounds on the wall as she cries in the hall for her love so far away. Molly's and Vicksburg nine around. It's the 4th of July and they burn down the town. I should go to her, even take up the fight. But I'm watching a fairy dance in the light. If you have a sweetheart, if you've got a name, if you have a family, don't squander it all for the sugar and ice to watch the green fairy dance in the light. My Molly's in Vicksburg nine around. It's the 4th of July and they burn down the town. I should go to her and take a fight, but I'm watching a fairy dance in the light. So I wrote this song uh, about that, and uh, it's, it's, it's been around a long time, but we were talking about, earlier we were talking about Martin Scorsese, and this is a true story on this song. I wrote this song with uh, David Sheffield, and uh, this, this, uh, this particular song, uh, um, I recorded it, and on my record, it's a big production with like a mariachi band. It got some great players on there. Uh, Bill Churchill used to play with Tower of Power, plays trumpet on it. And uh, Jimmy Enfield, who's uh, uh, the Blasters, uh, was on bass, and uh, Frankie Ricard of uh, Amy Lou Harris's band, and uh, Linda Ronstadt playing with me. Said so some great guys, Eddie Betos, you know, uh, Zig Motley, some great guys on that record, and um, uh, Mark and Dector on fiddle. So got to mention all these timber sheiks. But um, at any rate, uh, uh, there was a friend of mine who lived in New Orleans, and. Um, her, uh, unfortunately, her best friend, uh, uh, they had suffered a home invasion robbery, and the girl's husband had been killed. So she left, and uh, she was from New Orleans, but she left and didn't want to live there anymore, and she moved to Los Angeles. And she ended up working with the director, Martin Scorsese. And so you're talking about the song being cinematic, and she gave him a, a copy of my CD. And uh, it turned out to be a song that he liked a lot. So she tells me, I don't know, I've never written in it, so I don't know. But she tells me that he rides around in his Mercedes, and when he's got a meeting, he'll he'll spin Red Miata for him, you know, on the CD. So I wish he'd use it in one of his movies, you know. That'd be nice. So anyway, uh, this song's called Red Miata. A couple of things I'll let you know, and just to kind of fill you in on like the little inside thing on the song, uh, which you shouldn't have to do, but if the song's really that great, but it's not that great, so anyway. <laughs> but it's fun. And uh, anyway, there's a restaurant in uh, in, in, in uh, uh, Los Angeles called La Dome, and this is where all the big Hollywood deals are made, and uh, agents go to meet their their uh, 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 clients there to sign deals, and you kind of go there to be seen. And then there's, uh, there's also... Uh, 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 reference to uh, the Bloods and the Crips and their gangs, you know. Bloods wear red, the Crips wear blue. And uh, then there's reference to a uh, Miata 
and it's a little Mazda car. And uh, gosh, back in the old song, it was reference to the Thomas guy, but I think I've changed that to GPS. So uh, anyway, here's a song that was always a favorite when uh, we play in L.A. It's called Red Miata, and it's also a long one. So I want to thank everybody. Really, you know, thank you, Willie. Really, thank you so much for coming out and supporting me and coming to see the show tonight. It was really a thrill to be back in Hattiesburg. Uh, it was the first time I played in Hattiesburg since I played at the old Thirsty Hippo with my band 10 years ago. And uh, for, thank you. And um, so this will uh, this will kind of do it for tonight. I really thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, thank you for coming out. And, Absolutely. Uh, and, and I'd like to thank everybody at w, uh, USM for playing my CDs. And it's, it's great. And uh, so without any further ado. was just a junior agent working hard for ICM they said he was a stand up guy no bigger match than him fresh from the New York office his Gucci's always shine his jacket said our money his card said and decline. Yes, his card said and decline. Well, the call come early Monday. They said this client he must be signed. Then they faxed the wrong directions to young agent and decline. He didn't know. L.A. too well, he got all turned around, and he drove his red Miata, his shiny red Miata, his bright blood red Miata, to the Crips, by the town, down to the Crips. Out of town. Andy could not get no GPS and he wandered much too far to where some folks took exception to the color of his car. Andy pulled up to a corner where the homeboys wore no red but back pistols in their pockets in tied blue rags on their heads tied blue rags on their heads and they say hey fellas I believe this map is wrong could you please give me directions to a restaurant called the dome but the meeting it went untaken and the client he was not signed as he ate his lunch and muttered where the hell is Andy Klein where the hell is Andy Klein for he didn't know LA too well he wandered much too far and he drove his red Miata his shiny red Miata his bright blood red Miata to the Crips part of town down to the Crips part of town well, uh, 
call come in to ICM. A policeman on the line said we found a red Miata that was leased to an Andrew Klein. His beeper was still a beeping, and his iPhone it was still warm. But he never made his meeting on that fateful Monday morn. For the sky cams, they could not spot him. Now the squad cars on the ground, and after 14 days of looking, and decline was never found. And decline was never found. Though they searched South Central over, blocked off Crenshaw up and down, where he drove his red Miata, his shiny red Miata, his bright blood red Miata, to the Crips, part of town down to the cribs out of town. Some say that when the moon is full and slips behind the smog, you can hear his whine and Mazda a coming through the fog so all you heed this warning if there's an agent on the phone could be the hungry ghost of andy klein still looking for the dome still looking for the dome for he didn't know la too well he got all turned around and he drove his red Miata, his shiny red Miata, his bright blood red. My American Idol moment, Miata. To the Crips, part of town, down to the Crips, part of town. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Weathers. Thank you everybody for coming out. Thanks so much for being here. It's been a blast playing for you. Thank, thank you. Thank, good night. Thank you everyone once again for coming out. Patrick Weathers. Another installment of uh, Their Right Songs. Hi, I'm Hannah B. Because the music matters, you're listening to WUSM 88.5 Hattiesburg.